Nagata versus Omega and Evil versus Naito. It's day 14 of the G1 Climax. How is it going everyone? We've got more B-Block action on the 14th night of the G1 Climax. Today's show is from Act City in Hamamatsu. An attendance of 3,200, it was completely sold out today. Up first, you had Elgin coming in on 8 points, taking on Toriyano coming in on 6 points. Uh, Toru won with the Akakiri, a head and leg hook inside cradle. Uh, it was a pretty short match, but they actually wrestled for about 4 minutes. Uh, he goes to 8 points. Next up, Shibata coming in on 6 points, taking on Yoshihashi also on 6. Uh, I said this might be a sleeper hit in yesterday's review. This was a clash of the taped up shoulders, they both got nagging injuries. Yoshihashi missed his first wonton but hit the second, but it wasn't enough. Shibata hit the sleeper and PK combo to get the win, go to 8 points. 3 and a quarter stars, really solid match. Nakajima faced Honma, both on 6 points each. Their styles meshed really well actually, I thought. I could get emotionally involved in a lot of the exchanges, at one point they were going chop for kick. Probably sound like a broken tape at this point, but Homa missed his dive with Kakeshi after the Kakeshi Otoshi. But it was a PK and vertical spike from Nakajima that put Homa away for good. Nakajima now goes to 8 points in a 3.5 star match. After this match, I think it's fair to say the Noah wrestlers have been booked pretty strongly in the tournament so far. In the co-main, you have Omega coming in on 6, taking on Nagata also on 6. There's a cool little spot where Nagata gave Omega an exploder suplex from the ring apron. But other than that, it was pretty much paint by numbers. Omega won with the one winged angel and goes to eight points, three stars, solid. On the same day as this match, there are rumblings on the internet that uh, WWE are very interested in going after Omega. What I will say is the sources for these rumors are far from reputable. So for now, I'm not believing any of it. The main event had Evil coming in on four points, taking on Naito coming in on eight. They both got in the ring and in a swerve, Evil delivered the finger poke of doom to Naito. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, that didn't actually happen. In fact, going into the match, there was nothing to tell you that these two were part of the same stable. They didn't even shake hands or even, there was no sort of acknowledgement in their body language that they were teammates. Naito reversed a fireman's carry into a hurricane run in one really high risk looking move. The finish came when Evil was going for his Evil STO finisher, but it was reversed into the Destino. And so Naito picks up the win and goes to double digits, 10 points, in a three and a half star match. Bushi and Sonata joined the ring afterwards and they all bumped fists. No great matches on day 14, but they were all consistently solid. B minus. The standings after day 14 in the B block have Naito out in front with 10 points. Yano, Elgin, Omega, Shibata and Nakajima all on 8 points each, tied for second. Yoshihashi and Nagata are both on 6 points each, just staying in it. But unfortunately, Honma and Evil, both on four points each, after their losses today, have both been mathematically eliminated from winning the block. I'll tell you what, it was another great day for me predictions-wise. Glorious! Perfect, five for five today. 40 out of 70 total so far. Who knows, if I have a good final week, I might actually finish pretty strong. On day 15, nothing immediately jumps out, but I will say I'm looking forward to Ishii vs Sonata simply I think based off of how Ishii's performed so far, any match with him in could be a four-star match. In terms of winners and losers, keep an eye out. If Okada wins against Bad Luck Fale on day 15, the loser of the Goto vs Makabe match is going to be out. This has been Matt. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. We've just got one more week left. Day 15 is where we really start that home stretch. I'll see you next time.